Just imagine you take 10 YouTube artists at once, give them a ton of spray paint, way too good camera equipment and let them paint and live together for 10 days in Michigan, USA. 10 videos on 10 channels, each with different painting projects, lots of crazy challenges and super long painting days. This is Artists in Wonderland. YouTube's biggest mural battle event in history, where five artists from Europe paint against five artists from the USA. This epic mural battle series is documented across all 10 artists' YouTube channels, each episode featuring different battles, minigames, challenge cards and of course painting on the massive 10 artists collaboration mural. It's up to you, the viewer to vote who won each competition and ultimately crown the winner of the whole event. Who will make it? Team Europe or Team USA? It's time to find out now in Artists in Wonderland. Brought to you by Rich Wallets. Three, two, one, go. Attention all artists, we have five minutes to the live stream, please come inside. Five minutes to the live stream, thank you. Okay, but let's start at the beginning. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning friends and followers and welcome back to another crazy project. As usual, we start in my can storage, but we won't use these cans. We will just use my luggage that I already prepared. Let's drive to my friend Nick Moody and start traveling <laughs> to the US. This is so crazy. USA! USA! <laughs> As Nick lives just 7 kilometers away from me, of course we travel together to the event, leaving the beautiful countryside behind us while not knowing what to expect on the other side of the planet. Hey friends and follow us. After bike and car we continued our travel by train from Münster to Amsterdam, Netherlands. Hello! We made it to the airport. Woo -hoo -hoo. Okay, we made it to the airport. Nick, Nick Man McMoody. He has so much more skills in traveling than me. And I just trust this guy. So good decision. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, there is the plane. Now I sit here in this plane, flying across the ocean, the first time of my life touching American ground soon. And while the windows started freezing above ice cold Canada, I was thinking about the coincidences that led to me sitting in this plane. Two years earlier. Some of you might remember the first collaboration I did with the crazy Welshman Tea to Sugars. And during this project, the idea for Artists in Wonderland was born. And luckily, we even caught exactly that moment on camera. Thanks to a question from fellow YouTube artist Jeff during T's podcast. If you were a game show host, what would the theme tune be to your game show? Hmm? And it is, of course, the graffiti battle show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Um, they can, every hour, they can choose a punishment for the others, but they don't right. know what they're choosing. Uh, like handcuffs. Ah, oh, wow. Or, or... No yellow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or, and at, at the end, it will be like a, a community vote who did the best job. And th this depends not on the result. It depends on how well you perform. I'll take part. 
Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah you were invited. But like, it's um, I like this is fantasy. A few minutes later, we, like, so we make this show. This is but awesome. We're this making awesome. this. <laughs> This is such a dream, this is such a dream. It, it, I don't care if anyone else does it, uh, because I would love to see it. And it was T who was not stopping to push this idea. And after convincing our crewmates, we also got some cool artists from the US involved. And after several group calls, the artist with the best organizational skills took over the steering wheel. Okay, behind the scenes, 10 artist YouTubers have been secretly orchestrating a massive event. Some might call it the biggest art collaboration ever on YouTube. A massive 10 day mural battle event. And it's all gonna be hosted here at my 15,000 square foot warehouse in Michigan, USA. Now we will see how what has been my dream for so many years comes to life. And as everything that 1000 touches turns into something epic, I was so curious about the next days. Warm here. This is how it feels to be in America. Very good. Very good. Looks like real USA here. A lot of small wooden houses, white streets, and uh, big trucks driving around. So cool. We are in the US and A. Woohoo! But what I didn't know at this point was a whole road trip was still awaiting us. Five hours of drive from the Chicago airport to the warehouse of 1000. On the ride to the warehouse, we were talking about what we wish to paint and what challenges might expect us. As all the battles were prepared by 1000 and his team, we did not know what is awaiting us. But one thing is sure, I do not want to leave Artists in Wonderland without dropping my name as a fat burner smoke graffiti piece on at least one wall. And we still got six minutes until we arrive. Yeehaw! It will be epic. Hello! Hello! Is, is still somebody there? No. Nobody there? Hi. Hi, Hi, I'm uh, Smo. <laughs> All Woo! other artists already arrived and were waiting for us to complete Team Europe. And this moment of entering the warehouse with applause of all these legends is something that I will never forget. Somehow being part of this bubble of world famous artists feels just surreal to me. Seeing 1000 again, meeting Kipto and Slu the first time in my life after following them for a decade feels like meeting old friends. The emotion was just overwhelming. Everyone was in a good mood and hyped about everything that will happen the next days. I'm gonna give a small tour. Oh man, I did it! Your green screen. Area. We got snacks for everybody. These are. Uh, do you so, guys want to so see tired. the see the front? I know when you walked in, everybody was like cheering. And yeah. Everything. yeah. <laughs> Being in 1000's warehouse felt a little bit like being in my own television. It is just impressive to see what this wow. man has achieved during so his career as an artist. This is uh, last supper painting. Look good. We bought this about a year ago, and I was like, all the work we've done over the past year, seems like it just leads up to this event right here. Like, it was all for this reason. Yeah, yeah. Just to have you guys here, like, this is what this place is meant for. <laughs> this one is so cool. Yeah. Do you guys know Jeff Paints? Yes, yeah, of course. Sure. Jeff Paints. Do you do that board? He didn't only do this board. Now you know that he set the starting point for artists in Wonderland with this question. What would the theme tune be? To your game show. Hmm? My office area. It's kind of weird to see that in real life now. Yeah. We only know that from 
videos. videos. Yeah, a 1v1 could happen there. It's a little Peter hard and his mm -hmm. team have put so much effort in the preparation. All walls were ready, cans arrived in time, and a huge reveal was awaiting us in the corner of the warehouse. Dum, 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 dum. Whoa! Yeah. Wow, that looks cool. Whoa! Yeah, that wow. <laughs> this is insane. Several months we were working together on this collaboration print as the foundation to be able to afford this event. Every artist sketched an own version of a character from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And finally seeing this shiny 10 colors screen print in real life was my second highlight this day. Until then I only knew the digital previews on tenhun.com where you hopefully still can grab the print, sticker pack or bundle when this this video comes out, but this print in reality made me speechless. Great. How do you feel about it? What? About what? How are you feeling? I'm tired. Tired? Yes. Yeah. We all are. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. <laughs> okay, it's time to go to. Alright, yeah. everybody, let's land. go. It's time to sleep. Let's go, vamos, people. And hey. there we are. So. Nick and me are sleeping in the kids' room. And you want to take the upstairs one? Huh? I take the upstairs one. I sleep over there. <laughs> okay, friends and followers, the next morning uh, we just managed it to eat a little bit. There you go. Yeah, that's the cream. I used to be a professional. Yeah. <laughs> professional dishwasher. <laughs> While Doak destroyed the coffee machine, we, we burned some uh, of the bagels. So Tea. destroyed the toilet. <laughs> Not the truth. <laughs> yeah, come, I'm, I will show you a little bit around because it is beautiful over here. Such a big yeah. house. And to show our gratitude, of course, we all brought what? guest presents and uh, packed them all together for Peter. This looks so nice. Thank you, Peter. Insanely beautiful over here. Like really? <laughs> I slept a little bit. Not so good, not so much, but a little bit. Are you ready for your day? Yes, I will be commanding you in like 30 minutes. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Because today is Doke's and 1000's day, what means that the challenges of today will be documented in detail on these two channels. And my day and my challenge is still way ahead of me. My day is day 8 of 10. So I will try not to spoil too much good until morning, we reach good morning. day 8. Good morning everyone! Oh! Peter is already working. Are you already twerking on your computer? Morning. Good morning. Yes. Great. You guys Congrats. feeling better? To be honest, I was just happy that I did not have my day on the first day because. Hey, I've got no idea. I'm just doing what they say. While Peter had a real plan about what will happen next, I was just lost. We are currently in this room right now, and we're gonna pick a battle theme, so... We picked the first challenges with Bobby Duke doing the insane moderations, picking some cans, painting, suddenly there was a live stream, <laughs> painting, then another live stream that was really wild, and at the late evening we finished the first mural battle. Holy moly! Now I know what Peter meant when he said, We're gonna be tired at the end of this Artists in Wonderland event, I'll tell you what. And then there was day three, the punishment day. I had the chance to paint with my friend Doke again and enjoyed it to be behind the scenes of so many video productions and learned a lot from the different approaches. But during the battles that you can already see on this channel, we were not allowed to say the word cap. And it's hard not to say the word cap. Do you ever use these ones? Uh, yes, yeah. a lot. Really? Yeah, because I'm lazy. Yeah. <laughs> I just keep them on. I can paint with all caps, basically. Oh. Ah! 
And this was just my first challenge card this day. Artist must paint in spooky ghost costume. This is easy. Okay, give oh, me the spooky but ghost I don't costume. Know where that is. You are a smost. <laughs> I'm a smost. Oh How do I look? Do I look yeah. stupid? Is that smoke? Yeah. <laughs> Why you said cat? Oh. <laughs> Every three minutes, somebody said the forbidden word. Yeah. Me as a ghost, Peter, who had to carry two durable and sturdy rich backpacks full of cans, or Flo, who had two garden rakes taped to his body, were just the beginning of a madness of challenge cards due to the word cap. We are live. Attention, it is not impossible that you will fall in love instantly while watching the following video recordings. Watch at your own risk. I could hardly believe my eyes. I have never seen so much grace and beauty at the same time. Who has the better portrait? Smo Nova or Jess Carp? It is a miracle to me that we were still able to deliver that well-painted pencil drawings and also the wall Doak and me did turned out really awesome. We were done already, but of course we're not done because there are still these beautiful prints waiting for us. So we signed the first chunk of the 4000 prints that we need to sign during the 10 days. Hello friends and followers and welcome back to Artists in Wonderland. We are here at... I didn't know that was you! That's <laughs> hilarious! On Fox News, ABC, 1, 2, 3. <laughs> Random numbers! <laughs> We're all leaving now. Isn't it the good that we can be just stupid all day yes. and have fun for ourselves? But I'm glad that, like I was telling Nicole yeah. last night, I was like, literally, there's like no egos here, or none that I can detect. Yeah. And no one takes themselves too seriously, and that's great, yeah. you know? Life's too short to take yourself seriously. Yeah. And with these wise words in mind, we drove to the meet and greet. We arrived at the tap room. Haymarket. Haymarket. Tap Jewelry. Tap room. Tap room. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm great. So cool to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Such a fan. Hey. Hi. You are my favorite person on the internet. Really? Yes. Me? Yes. Why that? Because you're just <laughs> so you. humble. Oh, thank you. I, I was so impressed by the amount of people who came to the meet and greet. This was beyond all expectations. <laughs> oh my god, it continues! Hey! Thank you! You probably just had a day. Okay, it's crazy. It goes around the corner. I know. Oh wow. <laughs> I never experienced that much love and appreciation for our work as YouTubers. It was just overwhelming. Holy moly, you did this? I sure did. You did this? No way. <laughs> People came with portraits, pieces of wood, with caricatures. Look, that's me. Thank you, Lauren. This is so funny. I even funny. got your little dimple thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. And also some writers from my community arrived and it was just insane. Everywhere was something happening. Suddenly I was also signing a car. Thanks a lot for letting us uh, tag on your car. No, no problem, Small. I appreciate it. It's Graffiti Mobile on Instagram. Cool. Then I suddenly found myself in an epic arm wrestling competition. Against, what's your name? Roman. Roman. Okay, let's see if Roman can beat me in arm wrestling. Three, two, one, go. Go, Roman, go. Come on, more power. Oh, 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 I got pain, I got pain, I got pain. <laughs> This was so hard! My elbow went off the table for a second. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're the winner anyways. Congratulations. You beat me. But you couldn't beat that. Okay. So you're the winner. You're just the winner. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. <laughs> this was cute. Fully loaded with positive emotions, we drove home. But this wasn't all for one day. One hour later. Of course, we did another live stream where we designed RC cars. Now, you. You're on a race car. And I will uh, see that we together win this thing. Good luck. this wasn't all suddenly the owner from turbo vinyl showed us his insane torch juggling skills i mean i was already impressed by the sharp and thick vinyl stickers with this crisp and glossy print he made for us and after getting to know this guy i can just recommend to check out turbo vinyl even if you have already a sticker guy because Turbo Vinyl does not only deliver great quality and pricing, their owner is literally on fire. Use code WONDERLAND for 10% off your first purchase. Check out the link in the description. We started this day with a black ink only battle where we painted these beautiful walls within one hour only. Team Europe, Team USA. And I'm going outside now because uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to paint this huge wall here real quick. This could have been the first chance to paint a burner smoke graffiti piece on the warehouse, but instead I decided I want to paint the Artists in Wonderland logo that I designed for this event. While on the right side Lazy was already connecting his background with my letters, I felt for the first time some classic graffiti jam vibes. Hey, okay, let's go down and see if it is crooked or not. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's fine, it's good enough. Artists in Wonderland. For sponsoring our entire event and lending us all this amazing paint for free. You guys are the best. This paint is so awesome. Thank you, Montana Cans. Yeah, this is such a big honor. When I wrote uh, Montana Cans that we do this stuff, they were immediately hyped and they said, just tell us what you need, we will send it over. So thanks a lot to Montana Cans for helping us to make this crazy event possible. It is not only that I am used to Montana cans. For me, it is the precision and softness of the valve that makes the Montana Gold series my first choice for long painting sessions. Very friendly followers. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And this is spectacular. You can see Mr. Doki after how many years? Two years or what? Finally painting some letters again. Yay! There was still a lot of space underneath the logo, but there were already so many letters on the left side of the wall that I decided to go with the Frog Footman character. The look of the wall has to be cohesive. I will find another opportunity to paint the burner smoke graffiti soon. Hopefully. Hey, that's it for me today. As usual, we don't know what is expecting us that much. Probably a lot of chaos, a lot of challenge cards. It's like organized chaos in the warehouse. Yes. Everything is kind of organized, but it's also pretty... Like there's so much stuff going on and every oh. minute somebody screams through a megaphone Come here artists, live stream in five <laughs> minutes! Yeah baby! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
until the next live stream. Please put down your cans and come down to the live stream set so I can shout at you without a megaphone. Thank you very much. Oh, we got food. Quickly before we eat, we'll start. Where is mine? Have you seen it? What's standing on it? As Rich is the main sponsor of this whole event, there were a lot of challenges and live streams dedicated to Rich. We even got a Rich pen to paint with the Rich pen on the Rich wallet. Whoa, now, what is this? Over here. Am I looking at this camera? I am looking at this camera. They are super nice. What do you think about the Rich pen? Uh, this this one looks so durable. It looks like a piece of a machine gun or something. It is insane. The texture of it. Yeah, it is an action pen. I think I, I, I think I could destroy something with it. We tried to use our creativity to turn the wallets into tiny artworks. But as I have some problems switching between projects that fast, I just came up with this. It is okay, but it could get an upgrade. Okay, it might be funny somehow. What the others have done within one hour is just insane. <laughs> You need to see this. Oh shit, I've lost. And the clear winner with 27% was Blackbeard. Blackbeard! Okay, I made fifth place, but I uh, did not uh, get any challenge cards. Okay, friends and followers, it is dark, it is half past 10 already. Another 15 hours day today. Um, a little preview for you. This is how it looks like at night. Um, and Doki, the big boss, has just said we won't finish this wall today anyways. So let's just stop now and take a break. So this was day six of artists in Wonderland. All right. Yeah, this is one thing after the next one. Yeah. It is, it is looking like a lot of fun what we're doing here and it is a lot of fun, but it is also exhausting. Just, I wanted to say that. We started the day with an epic egg drop live stream event and even if my egg looked really scared, it survived without a single crack. Then of course, signing another 70 prints and dropping quick graffiti sketches on two skateboards. Um, yeah, now we continue painting with the next project and the next project will be the rich wall. And we will be painting uh, this wall over here because we still got a very, very long wide spot. I love this. Hey, this, is awesome. balancing. this is great. Imagine like you're halfway through the video and then this shot comes in. This is great. <laughs> For our next battle, we are going to have the Ridge Wall Walling. It Mural Battle. Allow me to explain the rules. This battle involves all 10 artists. It's a 5v5 Europe versus USA battle. First, each artist is going to select a Ridge Wallet. But what I like the most is this one here in titanium because it fits perfectly to my titanium um, pen. They're gonna choose what inspires them, what leaps out to them about that specific wallet. They're gonna take that wallet and design their own unique piece of artwork, maybe a character, maybe a something else. Mm, I want to give the character from yesterday another chance. But as this one is a metal wallet, it can change its color. So basically, 
basically this can have every color. <laughs> so I took a photo of my favorite wallet with a pink reflection on it and my idea was to create a super simple cartoonish happy character that fits to the minimalistic design of the wallet combined with lots of money. Because we all know only a wallet full of money is a really happy wallet. Here it is, <laughs> a super funny rich wallet with a lot of money flying around, walking uh, between all the other characters that the other ones will be um, painting to the wall as well. Okay, friends and followers, we made it. So this is the rough sketch and Doak just fell asleep. He will take a little nap. We are all, to be honest, a little bit tired. I was really trying to push through, but painting was heavy and hard to me. My brain just did not work as smoothly anymore as it usually does. Every line was a slow decision, thinking was painful, I forgot to start the camera on my head and as the GoPro in the background suddenly took a nap as well. I could not resist the sleep deficit anymore and also took a nap to reactivate some power. Hey Small, welcome in your dream. We are more than 30 minutes in and you still did not paint a true burner piece. What the hell? I know you wanted to paint a great small piece in Artists in Wonderland. Yeah? This is your chance. Okay. Check your pockets. Okay. Smartphone, wallet. Where's my wallet? Where's my wallet? Left front pocket. This is your new wallet. Oh, Do you remember? So small. You wanted to use this as an inspiration. Oh. I also got something else for you. Whoa. A suitcase and backpack full of gold. Okay, this is weird. Gold? Is there really gold in it? Holy crap! And now, find a wall and show them Americans how you kick ass with the rest of the head. Yes, Mo. This is what we wanted to see. Nice 3D graffiti letters inspired by your favorite wallet. I am sure this won't be the last epic adventure with your durable and rugged Ridge products. And now it's time to wake up and bring this funny character to life, my friend. I had a weird dream, but now I feel good. I feel prepared to continue painting. Let's see what the others have done. Goes back. But he never left. It is crazy how much influence a sleep deficit has on your ability to paint. Luckily, I've chosen an easy motive, but with a little bit of rest, suddenly everything is easier and I enjoyed it to paint the characteristic screws and putting in the extra effort to play around with the light reflections of the different light sources all around the rich wallet character.
That's what I see when I think about Rich Wallets. A super easy design without unnecessary extras. Reduced to the minimum and a joy to use. Just a happy wallet that makes your everyday carry a little bit smarter. So please check out rich.com to choose your personal favorite wallet. And I just want to say a big thanks to Rich for sponsoring this video. A new day, a new battle. We have Team USA and we have Team Europe and we are about to start another epic mural battle. Are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah! This next battle will be featured on the illustrious Smo Nova's channel. So Smo Nova, yeah! Smo Nova, will you please do yourself the honor of choosing a battle theme? I'll take a small one. All right, this is a 3v3 battle. Ooh. Three artists from Team Europe will be battling against three artists from Team USA. Let's find out what we got. Alphabet challenge. That's you. <laughs> each member of each team will roll a die. If they get a one, it represents A through E. Two, F through J. Three, K through N. So on and so forth through the whole alphabet. So it narrows it down to like five letters. Then they'll roll a second die to determine exactly what letter they get. Once the letters have been assigned, they can only paint things that start with that letter. Ooh. So if Smo gets a Z, he has to paint zebra. a zebra and a xylophone. Wait, that's an X. <laughs> <laughs> you, get the, you get the picture. Now we're gonna draw a wall prompt to see what kind of theme they're working with. So not only do they have to stick to their letter, they have to stick to a theme. Let's find that out right now, Mr. Smonova. Horror. Yeah! Oh, this is easy, this is easy. Yeah. <laughs> Yes! Because he looks so horrible! <laughs> Woo! Smo drew horror, scary things, spooky things, frightening. All right, so, Smo Nova, we obviously know that you are on Team Europe. Would you like to find out who your fellow Europeans will be by drawing names from this bucket right here? Don't look. <laughs> it will be. Oh, wait. Flu! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he's on Team America. I guess there's... Wait. Smo Nova, would you like to find out who your competitors will be? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so then we'll, we'll punch it on that slew part. Okay, slew, yes. Black Bean. Black Bean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the next one. Oh, it's 10 hundred. Okay, now let's find out who are going to be the fellow Europeans painting with Smo Nova. It will be Mr. Mootman McMickey! Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Mootman! And it will be myself! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Woo. That's cheating. And yeah. it will be... Will be... Who is it? Mr. T to the sugar! Oh! T to sugar! Yeah! <laughs> All right. So three V3, three, three Europeans versus three Americans. They can only yeah. use one letter of the alphabet, and the theme is horror. Let the battle begin! Now we roll the dice and see uh, which letter we will get to paint our horror theme. I need to get a one through a four. Okay. Four, Peter, four, Peter, four, Peter, four, Peter. So far. Three. Oh, S-T-U. I have U? Umbrella. Oh, man, I got a lot of U's. All right. Wait, so we all go? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. Oh. So we each get a character. Oh. Mr. Sugars has already rolled a three, and his second oh. roll brings him to your Hey. All right. Small. <laughs> oh, oh Peter. You're cute. Oh. cute. <laughs> Four. So that's an R. Oh, R, okay. okay. Black uh, bean? A bean. 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 
Dead Sea. <laughs> oh my god. All right, so do we have all of our letters? Yes, we have. But please keep in mind that we all are very tired and we are not dumb in general, but our brains just did not work anymore. Okay, so I got the letter U. And I'm thinking about things that begin with the letter U that also relate to horror. Like an evil unicorn. <laughs> King and queen. King and queen. Okay. That's sort of the center. King and queen. I got an R. What could I be? A raven? Raven? Yeah, raven. King and queen, raven on the shoulder or something? It's the first thing that comes to Let me Google it real quick. Ask, ask uh, AI. Word with Q. AI. We could do like Q? zombie, zombie king and queen. Okay, let's. So Nick asked ChatGPT uh, the following uh, question. Project? Project? Mm -hmm. Starting. What? Order. What? Creo. Queen, Christian, Cork. Characters, into the characters. I mean, some research might be nice, but uh, we just sticked to our very first idea that we had. This just did not lead into anything useful. Look at the outside wall and see if it's good to paint. Good, okay. Uh, so uh, let's check out the wall, if the wall outside is good. It's gonna be a raven, right? right? Queen, king, raven in between, sitting on yeah, your shoulders. It's good. Yeah, but it needs to be horror. Oh, it's a nice painting outside, I love it. You're painting outside? Yes. Yes, on the back side of this wall. Oh. A few minutes later. Who was my team? I completely forgot it. You and T. Okay. While the others inside were already covering artworks to paint a second time on the walls, we went with this wall. Okay, it's structured, but better than painting over someone. Five minutes to the live stream, thank you. So the plan is to paint the easiest possible king. Why, why queen and... Queen, king, raven. But, ah, queen, I, I have to pay the queen then. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I'm Q. Q! Q! <laughs> the Emma Paint 1000 queen as a horror version. A few minutes later. Then, of course, we had a live stream and I found myself in a handcart transporting a canvas that had to be painted very fast by another teammate. Everything was somehow hectic and I have to admit that I just didn't understand the rules of this game at all. Then, on top, the tragedy happened. T fell off the handcart and injured his neck so badly that he was not able to continue anymore. This was a shock. And as a former rugby player, this man knows when it is time to stop. So 1000 and his team took care about T and we needed to find a new team member. I don't know what happened when I mind it. What about letting Voak do your part? I'll be fine. But let him think, why not? You can chill. Do your body a service and don't put it through this, no? He'll be super happy. Did you guys run this by Peter? It's me joining in. Nope. Uh, this is our decision. You are in. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Peter will be fine if he is taking care of himself. Okay. He said several times he can show Do you up. want me to take his accent? Yes. T. What's the what's the plan right now? Will you go to this uh, uh, medical thingy? No, I'm gonna. You just rest? I'm just gonna rest. See, see what cause it's something that could just be done with time. I just think if tomorrow morning when I wake up and it's like I'm, mm. I'm going, I make a decision. See, what we, then you're this leaving. Is what we do with rugby, you just wake up next day and your ankle is still hanging off. You go to the hospital. Oh, okay. But if it's fine, it's fine. But okay. I, I just don't. I just don't think I can do the painting. Okay, then the battle continues without T. So we adopted Voak to Team Europe and tried to do the best of what our heads still were able to do. I decided to freestyle my character on the wall without any doodle grid or something. I just looked sometimes at the Queen of Hearts from 1000 and just gave her crazy teeth and angry eyes just to make her look as horrible as possible.
So T2 Sugar's hurt his shoulder a little bit in the last mini game. So uh, he's not participating in this mural battle, and Team Europe has adopted Woke One to join their team. I had nothing to do with the injury. And I think we can, uh, I think we can admit that Woke One is a very highly qualified volunteer helper. He's an incredible muralist. And you're from Connecticut, correct? Correct. correct. Last time I checked, I'm not super familiar with a Connecticut in Europe. <laughs> Um, so what do, you, what do you think about betraying your country and I, joining Team Europe? I am just a connector, that's all. Yeah. I'm yeah. here for connectorship. So I think uh, myself and the rest of Team USA and probably all the fans out there demand that you speak in a very heavy British accent for the entire rest of this challenge. You want me to talk like tea? Yeah. <laughs> Two sugars. <laughs> yeah. Get going, you mate. <laughs> I want you to <laughs> talk like a very drunk football hooligan. <laughs> yeah. So uh, Woke has a YouTube channel as well, Woke.1 on YouTube. W-O-A-K. He's very talented. We're very intimidated and a little bit upset, but um, it's cool that he gets to paint with us. So shout out Woke, you betrayer of the United States. Uh, you probably just went on some kind of CIA list or something because you have betrayed your country. But we'll see what happens. I'm not from Connecticut. <laughs> too much info, too much info. And while Nick was still working on the sketch, I took a minute to see how tea was going on. And I was happy to see him half naked. We all know this is a sign for Welsh people to show that they are feeling better. What's well, going better right now? Yeah. Still a bit sore. Man, earlier on, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Uh, 10 minutes until the next live stream starts. Well, hello there, I'm Dick Van Dingleberry. <laughs> I am refereeing this dodgeball tournament and I'm gonna be straight on the middle, leaning towards EU. <laughs> I love my life. <laughs> look, look what I get to do for a living. How do I look? I think the eight was the day where we all lost our mind officially. I'm gonna use my microphone like a telephone. I remember that we lost this dodgeball game, but I can't remember which challenge cards we got. And I did not record anything about the challenge cards. Hey, I'm sweaty as f This was the last interruption? Yes. I think. Yes. Now I can just continue painting. my gloves are all wet. And I have to paint without gloves. Mine are oh, all wet as well. I'm Did you get a ball in your face? Yeah. yeah. Oh. It just, just hit me in the face. Oh no. Yeah. Okay, and there we are, back at the wall. I continue painting my ugly, evil, dangerous horror queen. And Voak is already doing a good job on his cave of the king. Um, yeah. How do you feel um, taking Tito Sugar's place? You know, it's upsetting that that happened to him, but uh, I'm pretty happy to be on this wall. <laughs> Team Europe? Yeah! What is going on there? Mr. Hundred. Slu has Z, he drew a zombie. I have W. Oh man, I got a lot of U's, all right. Wait, so Wait, what do I have? I have U, I have an undead undertaker with an umbrella. Okay. We can already see that this will be an um, umbrella, okay. Yeah, and then Black Bean has the letter B, so he's a bony bat. Mm. I think I'll three and it's at it, so like 6%. Yeah. Oh man, Mr. Team Europe. Mr. Vork is burning all of us. This is so nice. <laughs> Vork! <laughs> Mr. Bean. Yes, sir. 
Uh, how are you about your uh, bony bat? I don't like it. You don't like it? No, but I'm gonna work on it. I'm working on it still. <laughs> And while we were doing our final designs, I was adding my blinkies, um, Nick was also adding some highlights to his raven, then Voak came up with such a great idea. Put a little, Two sugars, little, a co tea. little cord down a here. Bag. A tea, tea bag. bag. Yes. Yeah, a tea bag and write two sugars on it. Yeah. Just a little bag. I could do it with a stencil cap. Perfect timing. Come have a look. You see anything cool on there? Oh, there we are, lads. Thank you. Thank you. Subbed me out and it still included me. Thank you. See? He really likes it. I, I, I wasn't never not going to like it, was I? No, probably no. not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, friends and followers, that's it for today. I will give you the final shots, shots, final shots of this beautiful wall uh, tomorrow. But I have to say, this was a great collaboration together with Nick to the Moody, pretty usual on my channel, but also together with Voak, Black Bean, 1000, and Slu. Crazy. Crazy oh, things are happening so here. Handle... Yo. Oh, MPs are I know. I'm gonna use the last yeah. hours of the day to sign some more prints. And you don't forget to check out the community tab on my YouTube channel and vote for your favorite team. And also check out the video description to find the next video of Artists in Wonderland. You're upside, don't can lazy take the lead. T Smo and Nick with skills that exceed. On the American team, Jess and Kip so fight. Black Bean slew ten hundred shining bright. Artists in Wonderland, painting dreams on a wall. Every stroke, every line, the mastery increased. They push beyond their limits, striving to be best. In this mural painting battle, they stand the ultimate test. Artists in Wonderland, painting dreams on the wall. The paint dries slowly, and the battle's done. The murals tell the story of how they've won. In this wonderland of artists, their legacy is grand. Ten artists, one mission, united they stand. Pink 
Okay, friends and followers, this was Artists in Wonderland. Um, the next episode will be there tomorrow. The video tomorrow will be from Jess Carp, who puts her tiny hands the first time on a spray can. You don't want to miss that. And please check out my community tab to vote for your favorite horror wall. Thanks a lot for watching and we see us in the next project and it will be more chilled than this one.